Is Hunter dodging the court by turning the White House into a personal fort? According to the New York Post, an actual paper cat, Hunter Biden may be living at the White House with his second wife and their three-year-old son in a desperate attempt to avoid being served legal papers by his baby mama. He must get hectic with all the crying and diaper changing. And the baby's a handful, too. <laughs> It's because he's old, right? <laughs> there have been several sightings in D.C. in the past six months lead, lead, lending or leading, lending credence to the theory that he's living with pops to hide from process servers in his ongoing child support fight with the former stripper. And the White House is a great place to hide. That's the last place we saw Chris Wallace. <laughs> Either way, if a hunter's shacked up at the White House, they can finally sterilize his room at the Motel 6. <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, House Oversight Committee Chair, or Hook, James Comer says at least a dozen Biden family members will be exposed for having received money from foreign entities. But hey, it's not like the Bidens aren't used to being exposed. <laughs> what? Did you get the, well, never mind. But, but was, the, but was this the Biden family influence peddling scheme? This was the Biden family uh, influence peddling scheme. <laughs> and, and, you know, when people say, well, they were involved in ventures around the world, I haven't found any legitimate business dealings on the Biden end. Hmm. So despite all that, the big guy should announce anyway his reelection campaign tomorrow in a pre-recorded video. He'll be holding up a current issue of USA Today so you know it's not from years ago <laughs> when he still had brain and digestive functions. But at 80 years old, his age has become an issue, even among those who support him like a pair of orthopedic socks. As The New York Times points out, many Democrats, particularly younger ones, are worried that he will simply be too old to be effective in a second term. And by younger voters, they mean this. <laughs> anyway, we were able to obtain an early copy of Biden's video announcement. My fellow Americans, the choice <laughs> has never been clear. On one side, extreme MAGA Republicans, Racism, Charlottesville, January 6th. I promise, however, to wear a Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses, eat ice cream, and occasionally show passion by yelling phrases like, come on, man, and give me a break. Thank you, and God bless the United States of America. Come on, man, give me a break. Not a joke. Martha, you know, we're, we're pinning this on the New York Post, but... Isn't that amazing if he's living at the White House with his family so he doesn't get... Yes. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's almost too on the nose a story to be true, but I'm going to say I believe it. And not only that, that same New York Post story says that Naomi and her husband are also living there, and you see all of these people coming and going from Marine One on a regular basis. There are 16 bedrooms, so there's plenty of room. If anybody else wants to move in, I think they have 35 bathrooms and 16 bedrooms. Oh, that's um, good. You know, they and, need those bathrooms. What I don't get you know. is, you know, can you... Are you <laughs> How can you really, they say he might be avoiding uh, getting served papers from London Roberts by hiding behind the Secret Service. I'm thinking, like, what kind of law enforcement official is going to have, you know, people come to serve papers and are yeah. going to go, no, you can't get in here? Yeah. I, it's very strange to me. But I also thought it was interesting what I noted in that article that London Roberts, that this little girl that they have who's four years old, her name is Navy. Yes. Which is interesting because he got kicked out of the Navy right. for doing drugs. So maybe she named their child that to just kind of yeah. stick it to him. Yeah. God, there's a joke about, well, I won't say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something so, about the Merchant Marine. Yeah, I don't I know. know. Yeah. Nick, you know where my brain's going. I'm but, sorry uh, to hear that. Um, it's going to I'm, one of those bathrooms in the White House. Yes. Have you been to the White House? Yes, I have. Okay. Been to let, the White House. We have the people who haven't been to the White House. It's not an attractive place. No. It's, the inside is very, it's like, it's like somebody let it go to rot 30 years ago, right? And you know what it is? Like it's Grace like Graceland without the attitude. It's like the Hef's Playboy Mansion yeah, without absolutely. the STDs. Yeah. Meh. Well, not anymore. I don't know about that. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah. So why would you want to move there unless you had to? Uh, well, I got to tell you right it's now, great. if my father was president, I would be living in the White House. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I would invite all of my friends all the time. It's you would like, live above the garage like Fonzie. Absolutely. <laughs> You'd be getting all I the chicks. I don't even know if there is a garage in the... Uh, is there a garage at the White House? 
That's a great question. I think that's the one we should be should have been talking about rather than the check marks. No, here's the thing. I bet there's no garage. I bet there's no ice maker. Yeah. Right. All the things that we yeah, take yeah, for yeah. granted as modern people are not in the White House. Yeah. Right. But Joe Biden is OK with that because and if he do, has his ice cream delivered, you know, uh, you, in a horse and carriage every day. If you don't have a garage, you don't have a second freezer or a second fridge where you keep the tall bottles of Pepsi. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> this is and this is a guy who grew up in the California of the American dream. That yes. was the American dream, right? The second refrigerator. You had the second the refrigerator. This is what you guys don't understand. You, yeah. you had the you had the 1968 Camaro, yeah. right? Blue convertible. Yeah, yeah. You had the freezer. In the freezer, you had the tall Pepsis up uh, in the front and some beer in the back. And if you had the, the second fridge, was a sign of status. That was yeah. the blue check mark of your can of your ranch style yeah. home <laughs> in Menlo Park. Mm -hmm. Cat. Well, that should have been your monologue. <laughs> yeah. It should have been. So, Cat, what do you make of this story? Do you believe it? Yeah, maybe, but I, I wouldn't want to live in the White House myself. Why not? Because there's like, pe there's like people who visit it. Yeah, that's true. Tours. Yeah, like not anymore. You, I think it's been pretty much closed down. You can COVID. though. I, I don't. I wouldn't like to be like looking out my window and then see someone looking back at me. I think it's separated. I, I've done. I've, I think they keep the the riffraff out. And I apologize for that, Kat. I, huh. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, it does happen. Yeah. I always feel like no one can see in my windows, but I know that's not true. <laughs> um, I also just feel like you were really insensitive just now to my fan base mm, yes. of old men. Yes, I was. <laughs> I want to say, guys, it's not age. It's Joe, plenty of 80-year-old men. You guys still got it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's just Joe Biden. Yeah. Literally, I know a lot of 80-year-olds. Well, I mean, I, that's not true. But, <laughs> but I know more than one 80-year-old who can complete a sentence and more. Absolutely. It's not just an age thing. It's just that for any age, he's not with it. He's not with it. And it's not even fair to him to make him run for president. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's unfair. I think you're right when we often make fun of Joe Biden's age because there are a lot of people that are in that group. But I always say, Rob, 80 is the new 50. It really is. I mean, think of everything that you have at your fingertips. You have relief factor. You have balance of nature. You have yeah. relaxium. An 80-year-old, they don't look a day over, like, 79. I mean, how old are you? You're almost, you're 83, Rob. I'll be 83 <laughs> in May. Yeah. Uh, I look pretty good. Yeah, you look great. Uh, the difference how is the relief factor? <laughs> uh, it's not working. Not working? Uh, there's no, we'll there's no factor. Uh, yeah. Put that out. Um, uh, there are two kinds of 80-year-olds. The kind that say, I have to go to the bathroom, and the kind that say, I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's only two kinds. Um, uh, but I, I, uh, I'm actually more interested in the, in the, 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 the syndicate. That's what I found interesting about yeah. the, the, the New York Post article. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, it's so, so Hunter Biden's living in the White House. What we know about Hunter Biden is he rarely leaves the one bedroom. Like, right. he's there for, like, 27, 36 hours. So no one's really going to see him. Mm -hmm. You may smell him, but not going to see him. Right. Um, the syndicate is amazing. It's like you ever see? Do you see those, those shows in the like the eighties? The, the the mob like uh, yeah, it's like, like the what, mob blank. shows the mob uh, like the expo, yeah. exposés. Yeah. They had like pictures of everybody and like and this is like Sammy yeah. uh, Red Sauce uh, Biden and over here is three yeah. cheeses yeah. Biden and they're from and that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a whole syndicate of people kind of with they're getting a little sugar, little taste because the big man who's kind of losing it. There's going to be a gang war. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm here for it. I think it'd be kind of a cool movie. Yeah, they did it. I think it was called, remember Point Blank with Lee Marvin? Yeah. As he works his way up the syndicate? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah, and, the, and the Mel Gibson remake was great, too. Was that Point No? Yeah, with uh, Payback. Yeah, Payback. Uh, great. His best movie. Yeah. His best movie. movie. Anyway, we'll talk about that afterwards. Drinks at my place. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.